I'm Yolanda Vasquez, and welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. Joining me now in our studio is Lindsay Gill. She is the executive director of Luke's Wings. Lindsay, it's an absolute pleasure to have you here in our studio. Thank you. Let's talk a little bit more about Luke's Wings. Um, we're going to talk about some of the services you provide, but tell me a little bit more about the service member who this organization is named after. Sure. So Luke's Wings was started in 2008, and it was inspired by a service member, Luke Shirley. He had lost an arm and a leg, and he was going through the recovery and rehabilitation process at Walter Reed, and he wanted his mom to be with him, but finances are an issue when you're recovering for upwards of 12, 24, 48 months. We're talking years. Yeah. So unfortunately, the government can only provide up to three flights at the inception of an injury, so you would probably use those in the first couple days. Yeah. So when you're recovering for a couple of years, um, transportation to be with your loved one is very challenging. So two people, Fletcher Gill and uh, Sarah Wingfield, got together and had the idea, let's throw a fundraiser for uh, Luke Shirley. And yes. so the idea and the conversation stem from, isn't this being provided for, and if not, how can we help. So nearly 10 years later, we're almost 4,000 flights in for our military families and wounded warriors. Wow, that's absolutely incredible. And let's talk more specifically about who you cater to. I mean, we're talking about wounded mm -hmm. warriors, military mm -hmm. families. Am I missing anybody? And, and is it always just for them to come for recovery or just I need to come see my, my family member? Well, it's evolved. You know, okay. we're, we're 16 years past 9-11 at this point. So in the beginning, it was for uh, post 9-11 combat injured service members. So that meant recovering at, in a bedside at a military medical facility around the country. Walter Reed is the leading one that we are most aware of, but mm -hmm. there are 10 others around the country. So unfortunately, when a service member is injured, they're placed at a hospital that suits their recovery needs. Maybe it's a burn or a traumatic injury or an amputation. So they're placed at that facility for the best treatment, but that doesn't mean they're placed at the hospital that is closest to their family, their children or their wife or their spouse or their parents. And so unfortunately, these families are just automatically displaced. So we originally wanted to keep the families together for the recovery process, and we, and we still do. That's our core mission. Yeah. But of course, we have to evolve in real time and, and, and be nimble with real life needs. And what we're seeing now is that a lot of these service members have since retired, but have ongoing medical treatments such as in just new updates to, to the technologies that they received maybe 10 years ago. So we're helping with that those uh, flights and, and those recovery needs. But also, um, unfortunately, we're seeing a lot going on in our world with our officers, our police, our men in blue, our first responders. So we are looking at programs to support those who are possibly killed or injured in the line of duty while defending domestic terrorism or things that are just happening around our world that are just new to us. Our time is going quickly. We've got about 30 seconds left. Tell me a little bit more about how you're able to do all this and if people want to support your efforts, what they can do to help out. Sure. We'd love anyone to come to our website, www.lukeswings.org, make a donation of any amount. It helps us provide flights. That's the only thing we do, is airline tickets. Of course, if you're a company and you want to get involved as a corporate sponsor, we have four great events throughout the year, and we'd love to include them in, in, in those fun events. you got the Heroes Gala. You also have, we have many other We have a golf tournament. Things. We have <laughs> a walk. And then at the end of the year, we really try to reunite all of our service members over the holidays, whether it's Christmas or whatever holiday they celebrate, where flights are triple the cost. So we'd love for people to get involved and help us fund those really critical flights over the holidays. Lindsay Gill, it was a pleasure to speak with you. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you for your time. We really appreciate you coming on in today. Thanks a lot.